From homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, here we are. This is the fourth episode of Building a Greenhouse. Now, my little bed here is uh, filled as much as I'm going to fill it with dirt from out in the field. I'm going to make a top dressing for all this. But you can see before everything was almost above this board. Now we've had three or four days of rain and it's sunk down. And I may actually have to get a load or two to put in here before I put my top coat on. But that's okay, I can do that by hand. So today we're gonna start with the walls of the greenhouse. So if you've ever built anything and you've built it out away, out like this, uh, what you have to learn is that no matter what else happens, this greenhouse, you've got to haul all the materials that you're going to use to it. I've got windows to bring. I've got uh, boards to haul. So there's going to be hours worth of hauling and moving stuff. So I'm going to get at that today. We're hopefully going to start setting some posts. And that's where this video picks up. enough to get started. Now if you've ever worked with the rough wet lumber, this stuff's a full two inches thick and each one of these probably weighs 50 or 60 pounds, maybe more, not counting how long it is and unwieldy. Whew. Oh, it's going to be hard on an old man. Okay, right here is right at $1,100 worth of materials. Now on this, uh, on this trailer, not all of it is for the greenhouse. I'm also gonna build a tractor shed. So part of it is for the tractor shed. Now on this trailer, there are eight six by sixes for the tractor shed central portion, uh, eight, four by four by tens uh, these are 12 foot six by sixes by the way eight four by four by tens for the wings of the tractor shed and then eight four by four by eights to build a greenhouse because the greenhouse only has to be taller than my head the shorter the greenhouse is the more the least amount of energy required to heat it so I've got to get the this start to get unloaded now on top of that are those tough tex roofing panels now those panels they were not cheap but there's 10 of them there so i've got more than i need now everything here is based on everything is based on what's in my head i don't have a written plan for nothing okay i'm doing everything right off the top of my head now, that's not the best way to do stuff, but I've had two years to think about it. So I think I've got it in my head what I want to do. So, but when they loaded it, they loaded the six by sixes first. Then they loaded the eight foot four by fours and then the 10 foot four by fours. Well, I've got to move the 10 foot four by fours before I can get to the eight foot four by fours, which is what I'm working on right now, the greenhouse. So I'm going to get over in there and uh, start moving.
Okay, here's the plan. I've got three uh, four by four by eights that'll be put in the ground two feet behind this bed and they'll span 14 feet. Now, when I first envisioned the greenhouse, I envisioned it being only 13 feet. But after measuring my uh, plate glass windows that I'm going to use, well, they didn't plate glass windows, it's sliding glass doors, they're 80 inches. And in order to accommodate these three posts and two doors, it's got to be 14 feet. So that's where I'm at. Uh, it has to be 14 feet long. Of course, I bought enough. Uh, file on to do that so that's not a problem so that's what's in my head that's the only plan there is it's going to be 14 feet by 11 and I'm going to start on this corner post on this side I want to be about two feet off of this uh, off of this uh, raised bed so that I can uh, get around it but I want to have as much room on that side as possible so I can put a shelf under the, under the uh, windows. So that's what we're going to do. So we will have to get at that. Now it's time to go get more tools. Okay, I came in to the shop thinking about making post leveling stakes. And I was looking at some of the scrap. You can see my scrap back here behind me. Uh, I was looking at some of my scrap and thinking, well, I could use this or I could use that. Why in the world would anybody want to use dimensional lumber that's, you know, it may only be two inches wide and, and three feet long. But let me tell you, I use that stuff all the time. Well, I've been cutting trees. So, let's go. I need eight drive-in stakes that will hold my my four by fours level and square okay i need eight of them two for each of the four corner four by fours so i've been cutting trees so let's go get them Okay, eight stakes, and uh, that's exactly what we need for a corner post. No, whew, no dimensional lumber was wasted. Now I have a specific way of digging post holes. Uh, so I've got the, the tools that I need for that. I need a shovel, a drain spade. A set of post hole diggers. The tamp bar. So 
I've got everything assembled to start working on that. Oh, I'll need this too. I use this short blade, this short handled axe, to do a whole lot of work. Yeah, it's getting overcast today. It's getting uh, the sun's going down. Crystal's about ready for supper, and I don't want to start anything new. So we'll pick up tomorrow where I left off here. I cut all of my stakes. I cut them. I only needed eight, so I cut those. And we're ready to go. So we'll pick back up on it tomorrow. Now, I have a question. Do you like these longer videos? Or would you like to have shorter videos? Uh, you know, some of this stuff takes a long time to do and set up and do all that stuff. And the longer videos make it so that uh, I have less starts and stops. But they also make longer videos and some people only on, only want to watch 15 minutes or so 10 12 minutes so leave it down in the comments about whether or not I should continue making these longer videos uh, they'll be easier to do to do the greenhouse but you know tell me what you want
Okay, folks, I think that's where I'm going to stop the video today. I've got two corner posts in. They're level and plumb. Uh, I'm ready to start squaring this thing up and putting the other two corner posts in and getting it all square. That's kind of tedious stuff. So I'm going to do that when I'm fresh in the morning. Now, if you like this stuff, this homesteading, this do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homestead stuff every week, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead this week. Now, if you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload every Sunday. Now, with that being said, it's time for me to get on to the next thing.